Here's the little quarter horse uh, steam engine. Um, it can put out some say half horse. It's it's really rated for a quarter horse, which is fine. Um, this is the alternator for it. Um, it's a hundred watt alternator. So the steam engine will run um, two to three hundred RPM. And We'll get this alternator to put out eh, 50 to 100 watts into a 24 volt battery bank. That's what we're shooting for. And we can run an inverter off that. It's really just for fun. I don't expect to run the house off it. But it's good to use steam for something useful other than just, you know, exhibitions at county fairs. So I've been on a bit of a hiatus with my, uh, endeavors in wind, but I'll get this back and running and show you how it all works uh, as soon as the snow melts. A lot of people have asked me for the circuitry that I use to control the water level on these boilers. So here it is, and I'll show it blown up in a minute so you can take notes and study it, stop and start. Um, you can control a pump, you can control a 12-volt uh, solenoid, all based on how much water is in the boiler with the circuit. It's pretty easy to make. You could use perf board. You could just glue it up on a board, um, twist the wires together. Lots of ways to do it. Okay. Instead of using the um, 12 volt solenoid, run those uh, yellow wires to the inverter, and the output will be 110 volts then to the um, 110 volt pump, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, or you can use the 12 volt solenoid, but um, it's an option. Basically, if you can shut 12 volts uh, off, turn it on, uh, you're good to go. There's lots of ways to do it. You can use a flow jet pump if you want. Um, they're nice too, a little more expensive. You're going to need to purchase one of these uh, um, accessory inverters for 12 volt. They're used for cars. Uh, Walmart has one for $14. You can tear it apart and get the circuit out of it and rebox it. Or you could use it as is. Basically, you're going to uh, use the 12 volt in and the 120 out for the pump. Here's the Ulca pump. It's used for espresso machines. You're going to want to get one of the um, 110 volt models. Go online, um, look for it. It's U L K A. It's an espresso pump, and your water level control will control this on or off depending on the water level. Here's the circuitry. Um, you can you can use house water pressure right through a 12 volt solenoid. ASCO, ASCO has a nice 12 volt model, but it's um, it's like 75 dollars. Or you can use the Ulca pump directly from house pressure or just from a five gallon container, and it'll put it into the boiler. It does uh, up to 150 psi. So as long as you're running your boiler at say 60 to 80 PSI, you'll be fine with the Ulca pump. Here's the little pressure stat from McMaster Car. It, so you can use this pressure switch to control the um, fan blower on and off. Um, on pressure rise, it'll shut the fire down a little bit. That's what I use it for. Pressure switch, and it's adjustable from 20 to 120 PSI. It is a 3, 4, 6, 0K61 at McMaster Car. Um, and just put it in line with the cold water. Here's some of this, uh, what I'm talking about in action. There's a fan down here. Fan enters the bottom. And we've got the electronics are up under there. There's an inverter and a amplifier circuit and relay to feed the water. That's the feed pump. I'm not sure so. I ended up using a spark plug. Threaded it with quarter inch uh, pipe thread and it works great. Alright, let's see. Water comes in here, goes down the water wall, comes back up to the water probe, guarantees you got water, and then I've got a dump valve and the valve off to the uh, steam engine. All right, this is the feed water switch. Turn that on. Make sure you have water in it so it's filling. 
and the fan, the blower fan, near the fan. All right, so we've got feed water. So now what I'll do is I'll I'll give it about three scoops, and I just I just use wood pellets for now, but you can use anything you want. I usually get it started just a little bit, and then I flip the fan on. And then we'll let it heat up. It'll jump up to about 55 PSI and the fan kicks out and it'll continue to rise until it gets to about 80 PSI. And then the water, water. If you want, you can put wood chips, leaves. And it burns. Pretty hot fire with a refractory in there, so it catches quick. The fans are up to on. You see how it swirls in there. 